Today I'm doing a uh, coaching session with a RankMaker Live ticket holder, and it's going to be super fun. Um, the uh, cool thing about uh, this amazing lady is she has somehow, uh, this will be her third free coaching with me. She somehow is vibing high and manifesting good stuff. And, you know, normally we, I don't, I don't think we ever have the same person twice, but we've had her three times now. So she is just a manifestation machine and it's going to be super cool. You may recognize her from such films as, uh, <laughs> we, uh, we did, uh, Jess and I did a laser coaching with her in our 100K day uh, months ago. And then I did a laser coaching session with her this past Saturday. And she had won this coaching session prior to Saturday. So here we are. Let's bring on now our regular to uh, Higdon Group Laser Coaching, Rachel Farley. Rachel, what's going on? How are you? Hey, good. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> um, good. So, you know, I did a coaching session for you on Saturday. How, mm -hmm. how did that go? Has anything clicked since what, what has happened since? And maybe just share, um, how have, so I've done two with you and then this will be the third. How have things changed for you since I started doing these, since I've done these coaching sessions with you or have things changed? Yes. Um, things have changed. So from the first one, um, I, I now realize looking back that I was very much in a um, victim mindset and I just didn't know it. Um, and so since the last one, I have re-ranked a rank that I hadn't been able to um, in months. Um, I've also started meditating quite regularly. I, I can't say I do it every day. There, I'm human. Sometimes I don't do it, but probably six days out of seven. Um, I've also starting implementing. So this is from the last coaching. I was, um, I had a block which was, about which was a few days ago. This was Saturday. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. So since, since Saturday, um, I, before that I had a block about implementing things and it turns out that it's my fear of sacrificing too much, which too much to me means my kids for things to work. Uh, or family. And so since then, I've actually implemented I'm the things that I've had on my heart to do, which is things that you teach. So, you know, creating a lead magnet, I'm almost done with mine. Um, doing um, a live video a day. Um, I've actually implemented that I do a live video every single day now. Um, and the interesting thing is that yesterday, um, and I I don't know why. So that might be my question. But yesterday, I I have been doing all of these things, um, everything that you teach, and I get about five to 10 no's a day. So that, that's been my goal to stay steady at that. I yeah. want to push to 20, but I'm at five to 10. It's intense. <laughs> and, it really uh, is. So. and so last yesterday, it's like everything went wrong. It's the weirdest thing, sure. everything. My meditation could not focus for anything. My body just hurt. And I was like, my kids would come in and they never wake up that early, but they came in three times. And I was like, oh my word, I finished it. But it was just a mess. And then right. my husband came home and he um, was tested for COVID. And one of my um, leaders on my team, she has a major concussion and can't get online to do anything. It's just like <laughs> everything went wrong. So mm -hmm. I went live on TikTok too at night for the first time ever, posted a video so that that one would go viral, went live, um, went back to see, and I had some people on, went back to see my video. It was starting to go viral and I realized that I put the wrong phone number on there one digit off so i had to take it down <laughs> so i'm like okay what is going on <laughs> nice um okay so is that the question do you or so my or question no? is i feel like something is shaking loose yeah i feel like things are there's a lot trying to hold it back there's a lot trying to push forward and in the past yeah. year my volume has stayed pretty much at exactly the same spot 
How do I push through? Because I, I feel like I'm on the verge of a breakthrough, but how do I push through that when I have everything around that seems to be falling apart, even though I feel like I'm doing okay? Yeah. Yeah. So this is this is great stuff. Um, it really is. Um, so, you know, we moved, we moved into the new house on um, uh, Friday. And so Saturday morning, I... Um, I get up and for the first time since I've been steadily doing meditation. So the first time I have lost track, it's either eight months, nine months. I, I don't know how long, but for the first time in this entire time, I have a sneezing attack and I just like, I'm, 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 I just, I just can't do it. I'm literally sneezing nonstop. And, and so I just can't do it. And so for the first time in a really, really long time, I didn't do it in the morning, but I did do it at night. And, um, and so that was kind of weird. The next morning I woke up at three, which I don't like getting out of bed at three. I like getting up at three forty-five to four. And so uh, I woke up at three. I'm like, okay, you know, and usually, I mean, it, it works like a charm. I say, give me 40 minutes. I'll lay down 40, 45 minutes later. I'll wake back up. I wake up three hours later, three and a half hours later. I'm like, what the hell? And so like, then I'm rushed, the kids and everything. And so uh, for the first time in months, months and months and months, months and months and months, I do the low, the, um, the shorter meditation, which is like a 23 minute meditation. Still good. It was solid, but not my normal, you know, intense hour 10 thing. And so I think there may have been a third day in there, but I had three days in a row of just weird or not great meditations or whatever. And then this morning um, I had, you know, I got up, I was, you know, in, in the meditation headphones at four and um, I had something crazy happen, um, which I think I've heard people talk about this. I, had, I hadn't ever experienced it, but I felt, my pineal gland really kick in. And so I'm like, I'm doing, I'm doing the intense breath. And all of a sudden I'm just like, and I'm like, where am I? Like, who am I? Like, I just like, I'm like nuts. And then I'm trying to listen and I'm trying to do the meditation with my eyes wide open and like something like really like, like blew up in my head. I mean, it felt like a blood vessel or something just like exploded. And so like, that's actually a good sign. And Dr. Joe Dispenza talks about that. And so, you know, why do I bring that up? One, just because I'm consistency freak of nature, just because I'm consistent doesn't mean every day is great. And, and I've noticed over the last, uh, you know, 10 years for sure, before ever made a major breakthrough, there was a breakdown. And so I remember uh, we ran our first major event in 2013, Top Earner Academy. And, and I remember, I mean, two, the, 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 the two nights before that event, Jess and I are crying because we don't know what the hell we're doing. We've never ran an event like this. And, you know, we thought it was going to be like 20,000 bucks or something. And the hotel sends us a bill for one hundred and forty thousand dollars, and we're just like, "Oh my god, oh my god, we're gonna lose everything. No one's gonna buy anything. Like we're crying. Like taxes are due. Like we're we're a mess." And that event was it. Like it did things that I never thought we could ever do. It was crazy, and and so. But if I if I go back, every major skyrocket moment had a rocket to the face moment prior. And, and so the, um, so just embrace that. But the only, the only thing that I'll tell you, and there's, there's a million ways I could tell you this one, but I'll, I'll share a special way. So, uh, Hoverson once told me, uh, one of my former mentors passed away. Um, he told me that he was talking to his pastor and, and he said, he goes, yeah, man, you know what? I just feel like, uh, he was, he was telling the pastor this. And this was when he was broke in a trailer, you know, government cheese, everything like he was dead broke. And um, 
And he was, he kept telling his pastor, he goes, yeah, man, you know what? I just feel like I'm, 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 I'm turning the corner, right? I'm, I'm, I'm turning the corner. I feel it. I'm turning the corner. And the pastor got up and says, you know, you know, if you're turning the corner, you're just going around in circles. <laughs> and so what language I would watch with mm -hmm. you is you're, um, as long as you say, I feel like I'm about to have a breakthrough. I feel mm -hmm. like something's about to break through about something's about to happen. Then, um, you know, it's always going to be out in front of you. Mm -hmm. And so instead it's like, you know, like when I have, and this takes training, this takes, you know, building the muscle memory and, and, and paying attention and observing. But when I have a bad thing happen, I, I look at it as, ah, something great, you know, I'm so grateful something great is happening. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so like, I would, I would start, you know, just feeling that breakthrough. So mm -hmm. what would the person say who's already experienced a breakthrough? They wouldn't talk about their volume. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't talk about something about to happen because they're super grateful for the happen. And that's what we, that's what, you know, when, when I talk about, you know, be so addicted to memories of your future, not of your past. So being grateful for the thing that's already happened. And so I'm so grateful that my business is booming. I'm so great. It's so awesome to see so many people winning. It's so great to know. And so, and, and you start to use negative, supposedly negative things as actual great, you know, mem you know, uh, reminders of gratitude of, yeah. oh man, but it's, it's being very diligent with our language of not something is coming. It's like, I'm grateful it's here. Yeah, you know, this this mm -hmm. signals that it's here and I'm experiencing it. I'm grateful for it, you know, et cetera. Mm -hmm. And so that's that's the only everything you're doing is right. Everything you're doing is perfect. Um, mm -hmm. I've had many bad meditations and not just me. I mean, one thing that really helped me is hearing um, Joe Dispenza talk about that. You know, he talks about how he has bad meditations. He's been mm -hmm. doing this, you know, a bajillion years. And, and so just know you're going to have, you know, some bad days with prospecting, bad days with meditating, bad days with working mm -hmm. out or eating or, or whatever else. And, and so um, I think you are on uh, the perfect path. The only thing to change here now mm -hmm. to tweak is your language. Nothing in the, no, nothing that we want should be placed in language futuristically. It should right. be, you know, I'm so grateful I am becoming. Mm -hmm. And so what's like, so let me help you with this. So what's like the, um, next rank for you what's it called um director two all right director two so mm -hmm. uh, and then what's the next one after that um the one i'm aiming for by the end of the year is elite one elite one all right so i'll, I'll share something this uh especially if you're doing meditation i think this will this will work well with you um so do you ever like um walk around your neighborhood or anything, or you do anything mm -hmm. like that or push the baby yeah. stroller or anything, you know? Walk with um, mm -hmm. Okay. Walk with the kids? Yes. Okay. And then they're holding their hands and stuff and watching out for them? Yes. Okay. This won't work for that. Okay. So either it could be stroller if, mm -hmm. if they're, you know, occupied and not going to bug you every two seconds um, or by yourself. Okay. So what I want you to do is to walk as if, okay? okay? And so this is a walking trance. So you you do not focus on anything. You look you look off into the horizon. Don't focus on the street sign, don't focus on the bird, don't focus on the tree. Like you look off into the horizon and you just you put your shoulders back and you just walk as if you're elite one and really feel that, and, you know, don't focus on anything with your eyes. Don't close your eyes, right? You get hit or something, right? Um, you'll, you'll be able to dodge cars if that happens, right? right? <laughs> um, but, you know, look off into the horizon and walk as if you are elite one. What does that mm -hmm. feel like? Not that it's in the future, that you are an elite one and, mm -hmm. and just feel what are people saying to you? What, what are people posting on social media? Who's congratulating you? Who's saying, you know what, girl, I never thought you could do it, but oh my God, congratulations. And you you feel those emotions as if they're happening, as if they've happened. They're happening right now. They're not in the future. Mm -hmm. And so you do that even, even for five minutes a day, 
you're you're gonna have some amazing stuff happen. Mm. And so again, you're like in you're like in a trance. I mean, you know, wear sunglasses. No one's gonna be able to tell like who's right. this zombie out there, right? Um, yeah. So you know, wear wear shades or something. But just just you know, head head looking off into the horizon and just walk walk as if you are that person that you've been wanting to become. You're mm. that person now, and you do that on a consistent basis. That's gonna really really do some okay. cool stuff for you. You're, yeah. you're doing you're doing the tactical stuff. You're doing the the nose. You're doing the reach outs. You're doing the Facebook lives. You're doing all this different stuff. And right. by the way, the majority. Um, so two two things I want to um, comment on, then I'll roll it back to you. Um, one, someone says, "How the hell does she keep getting picked?" <laughs> <laughs> I promise it's not a conspiracy. No. She is just vibing high. I'm telling you, when you're vibing high and you have clear intentions weird stuff happens, synchronicity happens. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I remember I was at a, I won't say his name, back then I really looked up to this guru, but I've since learned he's not the greatest. Um, but I remember there was a guru that I, when I was coming up that I really like, oh my God, he's amazing. And so I remember I'm in this audience of a thousand people and he was throwing, a, he was throwing this uh, talking towel and he's like, hey, if you catch this, then you know, you'll, you'll get to ask me a question. And so I'm like, okay, I'm definitely catching that. Like I saw it, I saw it coming into my arms. I'm like, I'm definitely catching this. And so on the first throw, it went to the front, the second throw, here it comes, boom, just hit me. And so when you're really intentional and really focused on and seeing it happen, mm -hmm. magic stuff happens, the mystical happens. And, and so, um, so I just want to, you know, it's not, it's, it's just, she's vibing high. So she's getting lucky. She's getting, she's having things happen. And then number two, uh, when it comes to a lot of my language in today's uh, session, I'm using a lot from, I give him tons of shout outs, Dr. Joe Dispenza. Uh, we're actually working with his doctors um, and scientists right now to help with his give to read. His, actually, I can't say something, uh, but he has a new project um, that uh, we're going to be helping fund and we're excited about it. And so anything around meditation is not my original content. It's, uh, it's from Dr. Joe Dispenza. All right, Rachel, back to you. Helpful. Uh, that was amazing. Yeah, that's very helpful. I can see that because, I mean, visualizing has brought me those coaching sessions. So I know it works. And I also have done that in my life before I knew what it even was. I can remember one specific time where it changed my life. That's why I'm married to my husband. And so I know this works. I just didn't know the language tweak. I didn't realize I was saying that. I, I sure. Yeah. Well, there, you know, it's too. It's interesting because now looking back, because I didn't, I didn't, I thought, you know, I thought becoming was good enough right. you know, for most of my career, mm -hmm. and because it's definitely a higher vibration than victim, right? Victim is right. nothing can be created, um, and so uh, becoming is definitely better than victim, um, but. I didn't realize the distinction. And since I, since I now know the distinction, it's interesting how many other trainers don't know the distinction either, because mm -hmm. they say they, they use them interchangeably. They're not, there's, this is a world. This is a different world. They are different planets. They're different time dimensions. They are different. <laughs> you know, they're just totally different. Mm -hmm. And, and so um, the other thing about the, you know, the walking trance is, you know, we can, um, you know, get comfortable, you know, manifesting and, and feeling in our meditation with our eyes closed, but the majority of the time our eyes are open, right? You know, mm -hmm. and so how are you operating through the world? So if I'm walking through the airport, I do it the whole time. I mean, the whole time I'm just like in my walking trance, looking off into the distance. And, you know, sometimes I got to, you know, come to if someone's about to smash into me or something, but um, I'm just, you know, you know, I'm walking to my private jet. I'm, you know, being jetted off to a hundred thousand person event in a Coliseum. Like I'm, you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm feeling that I'm seeing that I am that person that's not in the future. And, and I think you doing that will be, uh, re I think it'll really throw some gasoline on the fire. Mm, I'm excited. I'm going to start that today. Nice. Awesome. Well, uh, it was good doing another session with you. Thank um, you. <laughs> Very I, I, I can't control if you get picked again. I mean, I go, <laughs> You're uh, you're magical. You're rocking it. But keep keep us in the loop. I want to you know track your story right. and make sure that you're rocking it. But I feel uh, I feel very confident you're going to be crushing it.
I really Thank do. Thank you. I appreciate uh, your time. You got it. You got it. You can find more great marketing, prospecting, and recruiting tips just like these over at rayhigdon.com. And remember to pick up your free copy of his 29 sources of network marketing leads. We'll see you over there.